Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the coronavirus and the origins of where the coronavirus possibly came from. And I did discuss this subject briefly in my last video called Limpets and the Bible. And if you want to check out that video, it's essentially about an hour long. And it talks about how our lives, how the human anatomy itself is intertwined with that of snails. And uh, we're going to be talking about this. Uh, I'm going to try to explain this a little more in detail. We're going to start by looking at the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system is an organ in our body that is part of our immune system. And it's also part of our circulatory system. And when you look at pictures of the uh, lymphatic system, you're going to see that it's made up of tiny vessels. And on the vessels are these little knots or nodes. And one of the purposes of the lymphatic system is to carry a fluid called lymph. And lymph means pure water. So we're going to take a moment and look at pictures of the lymphatic system. Now that we looked at the word lymphatic, we're going to look at a word very similar to lymphatic, and that is limpet, L-I-M-P-E-T. And when you look up limpet under edamonline.com, you're going to see one of the spellings for limpet is lampetra, L-A-M-P-E-T-R-A. And lampetra means lamb uh, rock, lamb rock. And L-A-M was an old spelling of the word lamb. So right away, why is this important? So first we're going to look at pictures of uh, limpets. And you'll see they're benevolent snails. And most of the time they just cling to rocks and they leave like what's called a home scar on the rock. What I'm showing now is a resin cast of an actual human femur bone. And when you take a magnifying glass and you look closely to the condyles of the femur, you're going to see limpet snails that live on the femur bone. One of the bones that articulate with the femur is called your patella. And your patella is also called your kneecap. So if you go to Wiktionary and you look up the word patella, it says that the patella is your kneecap, but it also says that the patella is a limpet, and that's a snail. And uh, of course, because your patella is a snail, it's, it's one of the snails that form your knee. And uh, if you go to Wikipedia, there is going to be a photograph of an actual patella on Wikipedia. And if you enlarge the image of that, uh, knee, of that patella, you're going to see that there are spiritual beings coming out of the patella. As you're looking at the patella and the spiritual beings coming out of the patella, you could also look up something called star charts. And star charts were like illustrations of the heavens. And every constellation had a mythological being or an entity. And if you look at the entities and the mythological creatures, you compare those creatures and entities to what's going on on your kneecaps, and you're going to see a direct relation there. Because I believe God put the universe on our kneecaps as a way to kind of help us understand what's going on in the heavens. And one of the things that snails have, of course, are antennas. And the antennas that are on the kneecaps are broadcasting or picking up waves of energy from the universe. So what you're seeing there is probably what the true heavens is about. What's also interesting is the word patella. Now, if you compare the word patella to television, you're going to see a, a very close similarity there because the patellas are like television. They broadcast the, the universe on our knees. And if you look up the word T-E-L-E -E from television, it means far, far off. And if you look up a word called F-A-A-R, that means sheep. And remember, I'm talking about the, the sheep that's, that's the snails are the sheep. They live inside of the sheep. They live inside of us. And uh, coronavirus is a, um, is a sheep virus. Because if you look up the word C-A-R-O-N-I-A, -A, coronia, coronia means sheep. And I'm going to get into that a little later. Okay, we're going to take a moment and we're going to look at something called corona balls. And if you Google corona balls, you're going to see pictures of the coronavirus. But interesting enough, mixed in with the pictures of the coronavirus, you're going to see something that goes on the end of radio antennas, and they're called corona balls. And if you look at what corona balls are in the antenna industry, it says corona balls are used to eliminate the appearance of fire or light shooting off antenna elements. I find it interesting that when you research corona balls, you get both 
uh, the coronavirus and antennas come up because when you look at snails, snails all have antennas and some snails have parasites that live inside of their antennas. And one of these parasites is called Leucochloridium paradoxum. And you could go to Wikipedia and read all about this. This snail that has these uh, parasites in it, are, they're called zombie snails. Very interesting. And if you look up the word antenatal, which is very close to antenna, you'll see antenatal means before birth, pertaining to birth. The more you research snails, the more you're going to discover that there are parasites that live inside of snails or at least attack the eggs of, of snails. And one of them is the marsh fly. So when you look at pictures of the marsh fly, you can go to Google, you'll see it's a, it's a fly and it parasitizes uh, snails. But marsh flies are part of a species known as Siomizidae. And what's incredible about that is Siom, you look up Siomancy under edamonline.com and it says div divination by ghostly communication. And that's exactly what's going on, folks. The, like the, the snails work with these parasites in bringing back to life human beings. And when you look, if you're, like I said, if you're able to get hold of a femur bone and you enlarge a femur bone, you're going to see limpid snails bringing back to life human beings or some form of uh, parasitical human beings. If you want to find out absolute proof that there are snails that live inside of human beings, you just have to Google snail one and you'll find a lot of medical articles about snail one. And you could just turn to Wikipedia there and it says snail one. It's also known as zinc finger protein. Snail one is a protein that in humans is encoded by the snail one gene. Snail is a family of transcription factors that promote the repression of the adhesion molecule E cadherin to regulate epithelial to mesenchymal transition during embryonic development. So there's a lot of um, key roles that this snail one plays inside of the human body because a snail is intertwined with the human being. It's like uh, together they're operating and creating new life. A very quick review in this section. Essentially, when I'm talking about sheep and lamb and, it's, and the relation to, between sheep and lamb to coronavirus, I'm actually talking about the snails that live inside of sheep and lamb and inside of us. And one of the key words to understanding all of this about the coronavirus is a word called coronia, spelled C-A-R-O-N-I-A. And if you go to edamonline.com and you type in coronia, two words come up. One is called carrion and the other is crone. And we're going to look at carrion right now. Okay, under carrion, you're going to see that the word means a dead body, dead and putrefying flesh of animals. And it says, Volga Latin, coronia, carcass, okay? You go down and you look up crone, and crone says, uh, old sheep, literally carrion, from Volga Latin, coronia. So you see coronia and corona is very close. It's almost the same exact word. And you look up virus, go to Edom Online, and under the virus, it says to melt away, to flow. I also want to spend a moment looking at the word you, E-W-E, -E, which is sheep. And if you start looking at that word and you compare it to other important words in our society, you'll see that it's all about the sheep that live on us. In other words, E-W-E -E is sheep, and it's spelled, it's pronounced you. And think of, I know it's a homophone, but think of a human, or the universe, or the United Nations. Or when you look up news, N-E-W-S. And when you look up religions of the world, they're all going to be about these sheep. In other words, when you look up Islam, I-S-L-A-M, lamb, and you look up Hinduism, you go to U, and it says E-W-I-G, H-I-N-D, you see? Jews, E-W-S. And Christianity, you have Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. So there is incredible connections with this word U. We're going to look at another word called Ewer, E-W-E-R. 
And that word has the word sheep right in the word. And if you go to edamonline.com, it means water pitcher with a wide spout. And it's also related to the age of Aquarius. It's, it's, um, it says Aquarius of or for water. And if you look at pictures of Aquarius, it has a, a man or a woman pouring down a pitcher of water on society or on the earth. And um, in the center of our stomach, we have something called the cisterna chile. And if you go to Wikipedia, let's go there now. It says the cisterna chile is a dilated sac at the lower end of the, of the thoracic duct in most mammals into which lymph from the intestinal trunk and two lumbar lymphatic trunks flow. I'm gonna show some pictures of the cisterna chile on Google. And I believe this is probably where the coronavirus is originating from, because I believe this cisterna chile is another snail that lives inside of us. And when you look up the word cistern, cistern means natural or artificial receptacle for holding water or some other fluid. Now, this cisterna chile is connected to the lymphatic system, and all snails have antenna, and this cisterna chile probably picked up a new wave of energy through the weather system. Now, when you think about weather, you look up weather, weather means sheep. Our weather system is about sheep. If you look up W-E-T-H-E-R, you're going to see sheep. And if you look on Wiktionary, uh, the, the word weather, that's an archaic spelling of weather, W-E-A-T-H-E-R, because our weather is sheep. Okay, just to wrap up this video, essentially, I believe the coronavirus is a sheep virus, and the sheep that I'm talking about are snails that live inside the human body. The main snail is called the cisterna chile, part of our lymphatic system, and it probably picked up a new wave because we probably entered the age of Aquarius and a new wave was picked up by the, the antennas, causing some sort of change or sickness in this main snail. Maybe it was a purification process. Maybe everything's gonna be okay and maybe we are entering a new age of enlightenment. I just wanted to mention one other point. If you're interested in studying the Bible and you wanna prove that the Bible is 100% accurate, as well as other religions of the world, you go and you look at a map of the Middle East and you look at the Red Sea and you're going to see that the Red Sea used to be a giant snail. One of the arms of the Red Sea goes to Egypt and one of the arms goes to Israel. And if you look at Bible verses, it's packed with, um, it, it, it's packed with verses about arms in the Bible and God's arms. And I'm going to read one of those verses right now. You go to Jeremiah chapter 27, verse 5, and it says, I have made the earth, the man, and the beast that are upon the ground by my great power and by my outstretched arm and have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. So very interesting. And you'll find a lot of uh, verses about arms and, and getting the children of Israel out of Egypt into the promised land. And of course, that's happening through the snail that, that used to live in the Red Sea. Thank you.